I'm excited because we have finally summited, or I think summited, Mount Crenel. Let me check the sign again real quick here. Crenel Wall North, Crenel Mines East. So I guess we need to go to the wall. I don't want to go to the mines, at least not yet. Goodness gracious, there's an infestation here. We're going to have to uh, uh, divvy up some pain and punishment just to quell their population, all right? Because they're an invasive species and they're going to invade the edge of my blade. All right, sign. Crenel Wall, watch out for falling rocks. Well, you don't say. You don't say. Still can't climb it, so that's fine. Can't do anything at all. This looks peculiar. Do we, we only have eight bombs, but let's use one of them here just to see if we can open that up. Uh, maybe not. Maybe so. Oh my goodness gracious. Isn't it just amazing? I knew I had a secret superpower. I just didn't know it was blowing holes in the side of mountains and getting pieces of heart at the same freaking time. Excellent. That's four, isn't it? You completed a new heart container. Your life energy has been replenished and increased. Heck yeah. We've got five, which is an increase of 25% over the previous four, which makes me feel pretty freaking good. I know some people are like so gosh darn good at Zelda games. They do like three heart runs. Man, a three heart run for me is like from Hyrule Field to here. <laughs> oh, I don't know how people do it. It's incredible. Even in games that I've beaten and played like a million times, like Ocarina of Time, I have never attempted a three heart run. I just don't think I have the right personality for it, man. I'm just a, I don't know. I'm just a normal dude. I'm not a speed runner. Or, oh my goodness gracious. Those are not normal dudes. I'm not any sort of like I don't know, extreme gamer. Maybe I could do a three heart run, but I ain't doing that today, all right? Today, I am just chopping at blocks and seeing what that's about. I don't know. Maybe we don't even need to deal with those. Let's charge up our our, our spin attack real quick. Well, I had it charged up. We, we do you? No. We probably have to do bombs or something from the, or hold on. Maybe we suck the stone right off of their head. Huh? No? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Now we launch it at them. They are destroyed. Very good. We have quelled the beast. Although they probably weren't actually harming anyone until we came over here. So really, <laughs> are we quelling the beast or are we the beast making the problems? Hard to say. I don't know. Link tends to come and go of these places and just kills the locals. No questions asked. Blasting rocks. Okay, so this is neat. At the very least, it has taught me that we can suck these stones. I don't know what good that's going to be for us just yet. But hey, we get bombs out of this one. Look at that. Normally, you blow up the stone with the bombs, but this time the bombs were already in the stone. Now, what came first, the chicken or the egg or the bomb or the stone? Can't say for certain, but it looks like we have another wall that we can't climb and another bridge, or rather a first bridge. Now that we've destroyed everything, we can go check it out. Uh -huh. We grab this mushroom. We can. Excellent. Take me up here. Very interesting. It seemed like that wouldn't work because this is like an elevated platform as opposed to, to that down there, which seemed to be, you know, a floor lower. I guess we're going to have to use this mushroom to, to launch ourselves over, but I don't know that we can... Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't, that didn't seem like it would be far enough for us. Interesting. Is there anything else we can get ourselves into up here? Like I said, we can't climb that. We can't even go down this. Interesting. We can't We can't even hurt ourselves. Not even if we wanted to. Can we suck the stones off of there? We can. Can we get that one out of there? Yes. This is not necessarily doing anything good for us, but goodness gracious, you know, it's not every day you get to suck a stone. All right? They say it takes something to, to pull blood from water or pull blood from a stone. Yeah, try pulling the stone itself. I think that's worth, uh, that's worth talking about. Got a rupee out of that one, which is better than nothing, I suppose. Might as well just suck all the stones we can. That one's got bombs. I think we've sucked all the stones we can. Oh, oh, there's some over here. There we go. Oh, no. Can we get the bombs? We can. We already had max capacity anyways, though, so I guess it doesn't actually do anything for us. And then this will be the last of the stonings. Yeah, okay. Well, it would seem that we are already at a loss. So the mine is this way. Is it behind a wall? Do we have to like bomb a wall to get into it? Or perhaps right here? This seems like it might be the place, right? Like you don't put a bridge to just arbitrary platforms, do you? You put them, there you go, look at that. <laughs> oh, Link, you champion. Excuse me, Choose. 
I've, oh god, no, 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 I've got a bomb. Didn't mean to have that, I meant to have the vacuum, sorry. Uh, come, come look at this. No, you didn't want to see it? Okay, well how about you see the inside of this pot, huh? Yes, very nice, isn't it? Ugh! The pot is stronger than the blade, imagine that. Let's check the chest, what do we have? A half of a keenstone piece. Very nice, we've got a few of those now, ever since getting them, uh, I don't know, a few days ago, whenever that was. White shoes, spiky shoes. Uh, okay. No thanks. As much as, uh, as impressive as that is, I really would like to, uh, to not be impaled. I don't know if that's, uh, <laughs> oh, if that's something you've got time for. Uh, not impaling people, but hopefully so. Now it looks like we'll have to bomb each of these so that we can push that block to the side. And then that'll afford us the ability to move on forward. Hey, nice, we got replacement bombs. That's helpful. Can't push it that way. Can't push it that way. Can push it that way. Oh, excuse me, Julius. Julius. Julius Caesar! Get out of here! Get out of here! All right, that's not... Not kind of you, all right? Goodness gracious, we've but barely met and you're already trying to impale me. Disturbing. Okay, uh, another whirlwind gust here, which is going to send us westward, it would seem. Let's make sure to just get in this one. I don't know if we even have to get in that one, but just to... Just to assage my self-doubt, I'm gonna do that. Excuse me. Excuse me, thank you. Uh, let's read the sign before we progress anywhere else, and before we get friggin' killed. North, Krennel Mines. West, Krennel Wall. Okay, so... Oh, we destroyed the sign! Oh no! How will the, the, the forthcoming travelers have any idea what to do? They're gonna be like, where's the... Where's the mine? Is the mine over here? How could they ever hope to discover its true location? Oh my goodness gracious, Link is truly crazy. I mean, we already knew that, right? The guy doesn't speak at all. He speaks and grunts and he destroys anything he comes across, including stones. But I guess when you're finding money and everything you destroy, who can blame you for, you know, wanting to do that continually? Link, Link's fate was sealed the first time he ever broke a pot. He broke that pot, out came a dollar. He's like, well, I guess this is my life now. I'm just going to destroy everything. And to that effect, me too. I mean, I don't even do it in just Zelda games, right? Like, I'm playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and I check everything. Granted, I'm not destroying everything, but I'm hitting a lot of things with the hammer. And that is something that I attribute to you, Link. You rubbed off on me. But I guess, like I said, if we're constantly getting treats for it, then... Well, it can't be that bad. Excuse me. You must die. Perish. Please? No? Okay, well, can I suck the leaves off you? No, I can suck you, though. Ooh! And they... Go away entirely. Well, this is a lot to deal with. We're gonna head west real quick. Chrono Mines north, shortcut to bottom. You see, I just came from the bottom, so I don't really want to do that. And we can't... This thing, the whole of acrobatics. I still don't understand this. We're meant to do something with that. I really do believe that we have to have an item in order to take full utilization of its capabilities. But still, you get in there, you do some front flips, and then Link's like, all right, man, that's cool. We're done. Time to move on. I wonder if we get like a, like a, like a glider sort of thing that can help propel us up, like a Deku Leaf or something. I don't know, but there's a spot for bombs right there. This sign says down to the bottom shortcut. That's not at all what I'm looking for. So we'll just have to progress deeper into the mountain itself. Excuse me. You want to pop on that? You wanna... No, you don't want to do that. Excuse me. Very good. I'm going now. I didn't want to play with you anyways. Oh, we got a Deku Scrub. What are you... What are you trying to sell here, huh? Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. This fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climb in style for only 40 rupees. What a bargain. So, what do you say, huh? A grip ring, you say, for 40 rupees. Sounds good to me. Let's buy it. You got the grip ring. Now you can easily climb cliffs that you could not scale before. Thanks a lot. I ain't got nothing to sell. Okay, goodness gracious. Now, is that an item, or...? It's a key item, I guess. Yeah, I see it over here. It's one of three. Cool. Well, shoot, 40, 40 rupees for a key item is a pretty good deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too too upset about that. There's a lot of bombs here in the grass, man. Hope you're not considering lighting any fires anytime soon. <laughs> oh, because you will have a bad time. Thankfully, though, I have EOD'd all of them for you. Explosive ordinance is no longer of issue, but we can climb this and... Presumably reach the summit. Wow, there's a little cavern here already. Might as well check it out, I guess. 
No word for what it is. Normally when you enter a new location, the, the title flashes in front of you, but it didn't this time. Instead, we just have a couple of buttons to press. Hmm. Buttons that we cannot press. Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe this isn't something we can mess with right now. Uh, it, again, maybe it is, and I'm just leaving prematurely. But now that we have this this grip ring, we can, like, climb things and, and investigate places. Like, look at this. We're over here now. Even though it doesn't actually matter. But we can climb down this and find some other little climbing rocks for us to climb on. I don't know that we'll actually get anything for our time, but... It's fun to test out new capabilities, right? Like, goodness gracious, you get a new item, you get a new food, you're gonna try it! Like, what kind of person would I be if I didn't try new things? Oh, I'd just be sad. Oh, okie dokie, there is a lot of climbing space here. Wow. Okay, man, this is like the state fair. Goodness gracious. Hey, there's a sign all the way up here. Who's putting signs in a desolate place like this? No bomb throwing! No bomb throwing. No bomb throwing, you say, well, I mean, far be it from me to blatantly ignore the rules, but allow me to blatantly ignore the rules and bomb away. Yes, look at that. We were rewarded. You could have said, please bomb here, and I might not even have done it. What is this? What is this? Do we, do we suck wind here? No. This is very peculiar, though. To be honest with you, I'm gonna grab some water if it'll allow me to. It will not. Okay, we will remain dehydrated as Link scales the mountain. Uh, you there, listening, watching, if you're ever scaling a mountain, please be sure to take at least one empty bottle of water. Uh, you probably need several of those throughout the course of your time because scaling a mountain is not exactly a quick thing. Uh, granted, I'm no professional mountain scaler, mind you, but I did live in Colorado for most of my life and scaled a couple of 14ers. And let me tell you, let me tell you, you get sweaty, all right? You get sweaty as the bigums out there. You you set sail, you set start climbing at five in the morning, it's freezing cold. You're still squirting sweat out of your pores like a gosh darn go-gurt, all right? That sweat is thick and it will dehydrate you. So, yeah, bring water. Uh, don't be like Link. Anyways, uh, Link continues to show off his superb athleticism getting all the way to the top here without so much as a single drop of water. We've got two different kinds of tektites Blues and reds. The blues seem to be a little bit stronger. They're taking away some HP from us. Goodness gracious, don't land on my head. You're going to make me come suck the pea hat over here. Is that what you wanted? Huh? The pea hat didn't like that. The pea hat's got to die, though. So, you there. I'm going to take your shell or your, your square, whatever, your cube. And then we could go back down. There's a mushroom over here, which will... Oh, no! No! We're still alive. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> But you can jump off. Note to self, the game will not prevent you from offing yourself in that manner. Uh, good to know. Very good to know. But there was also, like I said, a suckable mushroom that will probably give us access to the other side. Oh, sorry, buddy. I didn't even see you under there. Anyone else? Oh, sorry, buddy. I didn't see you under there. Excuse me. Anyone else? No. Okay. Well, we have successfully uh, defeated all of the defenseless unaware animals. I don't know how to feel about that. Not particularly good. But we'll go in this cavern. Ooh. It's a person? He's dreaming of money. I'm the Krenel Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quiet reflection. You seem to be but a child, and yet you climbed this forbidding mountain alone. I must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen strange patterned walls as you climb this mountain? Booms! Booms are the answer! I mean, that doesn't help me much, man. I've been bombing things left and right, you kidding me? You see these fingers? Black with gunpowder. Talk to him again. Does he have anything different to say? As far as information, he's just gonna repeat. No. Strange pattern walls? Blow them the heck up. Great! Like this one? I try to bomb on this, all right? I've seen walls just like this throughout the course of this playthrough. I've been bombing these walls for 14 days, all right? They ain't gonna happen nothing out of this wall. Bombs are not the answer. Bombs are not the answer. You kidding me? Well, I just had a, a sort of an idea. Can we suck the bomb? Can we, like, suck the bomb and, and blast the bomb back? No, you can't. Although, maybe you can blast the air back. I'm kind of grasping at straws here. 
The dude said, he's like right next to a strange colored wall, right? Like he would say that like it's this one. No, that didn't work. He's a nothing. The bombs don't work here, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe we need some other kind of bomb for that. Or maybe he doesn't even mean those walls. Granted, those are the only like strange looking walls I've seen. In fact, most of the bombable walls have looked like normal walls. Let's get as far back as possible. Which I guess is there. Barely making the jump and it's raining on this side. My goodness gracious. How sad. It looks like we can go minish size, but then what? Will we even have anything to to do? I don't see anywhere where we can get into. So maybe it, it, it prompts like a map change or something once we do get minished. Well, I mean, obviously it prompts the map change now that we're here. But not th now that we're outside. Like, there's no we can't even cross this. It's an impassable mountain range. We can't get in the... Oh, the hole is a whole hole. Okay. Anything down this direction? Or we can, I guess, squeeze through this valley. Huge drops of water. These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out. If one of them hits us, it'll sting something fierce. You're right. Oh, God. Well, we're gonna. it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Just go. Just go. Just go. It's going to happen. <laughs> go as fast as possible. Very nice. Well done. And now that we're out in the thick of it, it doesn't actually matter, does it? But we do have the ability now... To get big sized again we might as well do that uh i think those are boulders over here can we push this into the hole so we can pass perfect that is indeed what the case is and what of this one what of this one interesting can we like can we suck on this one and take it with us no let's not push it that way let's push it this way uh, hold on. We need to roll this thing all the way to freaking Egypt. We can roll it to here, and then we can push that one out of the way and go down the ladder. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do. I keep dropping bombs everywhere. I need to not do that. <laughs> I'm going to put the sword and shield back out so if I accidentally hit a button, I'm not wasting things. All right. So I don't know if this is what the game wants us to do, but if it does, it's a pretty neat puzzle. I dig it. I dig it lots. Let's not go right. We'll go left. We want to make sure that we have always at least two points of approach for this thing, right? Like, at all times, there's at least two angles we could stand to push it from. Otherwise, we'll risk screwed McDoodling ourselves, and goodness knows that I have screwed McDoodled myself in virtually every playthrough I've done on this channel, right? From friggin' Wind Waker, to Majora's Mask, to Earthbound, to Paper Mario, to Super Mario Galaxy, and everything in between. I, uh, I make lots of mistakes, but hey, I guess that's what happens when you're just a normal dude playing normal games. Not exactly, uh, well, <laughs> not exactly going to have the, the most seamless of times, but we do have a lot of fun, and I guess that's what's important. And that puzzle was a lot of fun, especially the reward, which is... Uh, oh, you! Yes, I love you! I love to suck your mask off your face. Please, come here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and now you must perish. You must perish, because I hope that you have hearts inside of you for me. No, what have you? Can I have your heart? Please, mask first. Thank you. Now you're flesh! No, they only had money inside of their body. How did you swallow that? My goodness. Okay. Push this out of the way. Oop, another puzzle. All right, we got to push the right ones so that we don't scroodle ourselves here. We can push this one and then this one. Oh, no. Really? Really? You don't say. Well, that's just diddly dungus, isn't it? What is this one? And then this? All right. I mean, presumably can't go that way, right? Right? Like... There's no room for us to go that way. This works. This works. Can we can we just get out of here this way? No. Can we get out of there this way, huh? Yes, I don't even know why I pushed that one up there, but I did. <laughs> uh and then and then what? Then this one? And then this one? Yeah. Keep going. Keep keep going, maybe? No. No, it says no, I will not. What? But there's nothing else to push. And things don't push back the way they came. Interesting. Let's go back over here. Is there, can I push this? You can. Okay. Starting to starting to see something here. Maybe we come back over here then. We can push this one this one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And this one? And then, oh, we've cracked the code. Link is a regular Dom Capers, all right? You can't... Nothing gets past this kid. It's amazing. He's got, like, an IQ of, like, 14. 
But my goodness gracious, if he doesn't have an eye for adventure and a knack for puzzles. And killing things, of course, naturally. Uh, all right, we continue to scale this mountain. Every time I think we're uh, like at the summit, we just get higher. Can't stop getting high, it's crazy. Let's get some hearts, that's very good. The, the hearts are low. You there, no face, please, thank you. Remove your face when speaking to me. Very offensive. And they're very cute looking without it, to be honest with you. I almost feel bad destroying them. Almost. Not quite, of course, but you know, hey, almost is, uh, it counts for something. Now I'm going to guess that the shroom is on this side and we gotta get rid of these pots. Grab the shroom, there it is. And this will afford us access to the other side. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, don't don't touch me. Thank you. I've only got one and three quarters hearts. Uh, touching your face would very much ruin that, to be honest with you. I'd like to keep things at least this high. Honestly, I'd like to keep things at at least three hearts, but, you know, it's not going to be the case, obviously. We can get back here. Well, maybe we're getting cornered by a chew. Cornered by a chew, goodness gracious. Not trying to get killed. Now let's destroy this. What do we have back here? Anything? Bombs? Okay, well that's alright. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. Uh-huh. 